In this video, I'm gonna go over my dynamic calendar template. This is a free template that you can download from my website, and I'll leave a link in the description to this video. Now, before we jump in, if you're finding these tutorials and tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and make sure to enable notifications so you never miss another video. And so how it works is basically just a simple calendar setup where you can change the months, change the years, and enter any sort of events, meetings, even bills, whatever sort of reminders you want to put to track on the calendar. There's spots for up to five different items, events, deadlines on each each day of a, of a month. So in this example, I've got a list of items for November 2024. So if I change this to, let's say, October, they disappear because I don't have any October events. So the, the events will only show up for the month that you've you've selected. So I've only got dates here for November 2024. So only when I'm on November 2024 will they show up. If I change the year, they will not show up. So it's a really flexible calendar. You can easily swap from one month to another for from one year to another. And so I've got all my events listed here, my items. I can also add flags. So for example, let's say for a holiday, I may want to flag it red. So I've got different flags that you can apply, black, blue, or red. And these are just conditional formatting rules. So if I set it to red for the holiday, it's highlighted in red. So you can add as much customization as you want. So for any certain ones that uh, you know you want to color code, it's easy enough to do. And I'll also show you how it shows up where we've got multiple events on the same day. So if I've got November 18th, we've got multiple events on here and there's room for still three more entries on there. So this will give you up to five events that you can keep track of on this template. And for the current day, that'll be highlighted in yellow. So I'm doing this video on November 12th. And so the 12th day is, is highlighted in yellow. So that way you know where you are in relation to the, the calendar. So that's how the calendar template works. Everything's on one tab. There's no macros um, involved. So this is just a, a simple Excel file that you can download and use straight away. Now I'll also show you the premium version of this template, which contains macros. It's a similar setup as the other one. As you can see, the main difference is I've got the inputs on a separate on a separate tab. I've also got a section where you can specify the calendar. So on the other version, I just had one calendar, but you can set up multiple. So for example, if you've got one for personal, for work, for other reasons, you can set that up so you can manage different types of calendars. So if I go over to the inputs tab, I have a section here for events where I can specify my date, my calendar that I wanna use, the event description, and then again, the flag. So if I wanted to add another calendar, let's say, call it a family calendar, I add it on there. And if I go to the calendar tab, that'll show up as an option on here. And when I enter an input, I can do the same thing. I can select the, uh, the calendar type right there. So it gives me a lot of flexibility if I don't wanna see um, certain events, if I just wanna focus on personal or work or family, or if I wanna see everything, then I would select all and I would see those events. So the macro in this, in this file relates to generating reoccurring events. So, you know, it's a reoccurring event, but we can also set this up for something like a bill payment. So I'll just type in bill payment. And so the calendar that I wanna set this to is let's say my personal one. And the day of the month, let's say it's the 15th of the month. And the first occurrence I'm gonna say is January 15th, 2025. And I'll say it occurs every one month. So if it was if it was once a year, I'd say every 12 months, because every, uh, every month I'm setting this to one, but you can set it every three months, every four months, however often you need it to be. And so let's also set a flag of black. And here I'll specify the number of events I wanna generate. So if I just want the next year's worth of events, the next 12 events, I can specify that. And that's how many it's gonna generate. If I wanna just set the ne next six, or if I wanna go longer than 12, I can change that number here. Now, when I click on this button, what's gonna happen is it's gonna create these events over here. So I'm gonna do this. And now it's generated those dates successfully. So I've got 12 items here going from January through December every month, it copies that. So it saves you the time of having to do that yourself. And once that's done, this is cleared out. So when this is cleared out, it's not gonna generate any more events. 
So this avoids accidentally regenerating them again. So if I click on this, it's not gonna create any additional dates because I haven't specified a number here. So this is just to make sure that you know, you're not accidentally creating duplicates of the event. So after the macro runs, it clears that value. So now let's go back to my calendar tab. And so because that was 2025, I do not have that on this calendar. So if I go to January 2025, we'll see I've got my bill payment on there. And if I go to February, again, I'll have that on there as well. Now, if I just was looking at my work calendar, that's not going to show up on there because it was a personal on the personal calendar. So I'll either see that on my personal calendar or if I'm looking at all the calendars. So by doing it this way, you have a lot of flexibility you, and you can potentially fit even more items on your calendar list just by juggling different types of um, calendar. So it's a really e easy way to, to manage multiple and more types of, of tasks and, and deadlines. So I'll leave a link in the description for this video where you can check out these templates. And if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of these types of templates. Thanks for watching.